everyone, I'm Izzy, and we are back in the world of Skyrim Dragom. And there's Dragom, along with Vilya and Inigo, standing there in the back with Mr. D. Mr. Dragonfly. He's wearing him on his belt now. Right there. And as you can see, Inigo has some ringmail armor now. And Vilya, I made her a set of Bosmer armor. Looks pretty good. She's got a different cloak. Bare skin, looking good. And we are here where we left off last time in Elysium Estates. We had come back from Riften and dropped off a lot of stuff that we had picked up on our journeys, as well as crafted if all the companions are shields, new armors and I some things. Gregom's like armor still the same. They are He does have a new have cloak, though. Sorry, Velia. Um, I did spend some time while we were here and got up to about level 19, almost 20, just uh, running around, crafting, and doing some things. So let's take a look. Whoops, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Enchanting. I did uh, practice my hand at some enchanting and got it's up around 32. We've got smithing up to 50, which means I'll be able to take advanced armors. And yeah, it took me back to the enchanting tree. As well as orcish smithing. And also, whoops, well, I'm just having a time with this today. One handed, I trained, used some gold, trained in town with Amran. If you remember, we found his sword for him, his father's sword. Got it up to around 52, so I took Savage Strike, which now includes the decapitation. And let's see, archery, we've got the Eagle Eye now. So whenever Dragom is using his bow, we'll be able to have a zoom effect. Not bad. Pretty good from just blacksmithing a bunch of armor and swords and nails and different things and uh, brewing potions and <laughs> breaking down stuff and everything like that. So today we are going to see about heading to Riverwood. Velia's uh, dog, Cyrodiilic Dogwood Flute is down there according to a Khajiit that we spoke to in Rifton. So let's ride. We are on our way. Yep, get past the chickens. It's a cloudy day, it's somewhat overcast. I think we're in the winter time by now. And we're on our way. See you in a moment. I wonder what Joraska would look like if Tilma didn't keep the place nice and tidy. I guess it's beyond imagination. There. 
is he going to come down and visit? Let's find out. We will get, um... Hmm. Let's just go with the unrelenting force for now. It appears he's looking our direction. his attention. You know, you're actually rather cute. Um, thank you, Vilya. <laughs> I appreciate that. Indigo, do you hear what she said? The dragon made for the mountain. So. We'll be on our way. That's a shame. I was kind of looking forward to that. Let's be off. And here we are at Riverwood. We're looking for the large Nord and his little elven friend. The ones that took Vilya's bottle in the first place. Apparently, the Khajiit said... Humans seem to think that they can own animals. That... One of them had taken... This is him. Drakur, Drakner bottle, noddle back. Apparently one of them had taken Stay Vilya's away from me. Please. flute. Have you recently won a flute on gambling? Not me. No, I swear. I wouldn't ever play. Put the tail on the donkey. Not anymore. You should talk to my friend instead. But, um, I wonder... You took care of the bottle. Didn't you tell the little lady to remove that curse from me? A curse? What are you talking about? Well, the bottle cursed me. I swear it did. Ever since that day, I can feel something growing. <clears throat> you don't think it's possible for a human to develop a donkey tail? Do you? <laughs> uh, excuse me, Velia. Hmm, can a human grow a donkey tail? <laughs> well, after all, Khajiits have tails, so why not a human? Oh no! That was exactly what I was hoping you wouldn't say. Hmm. Don't know. I can't feel something growing, I think. Tell you what, whatever is in that bottle is evil, and it cursed me. I'm cursed. I'm, I'm doomed. And please. Please, please, please. You have to help me. I don't want to live the rest of my life with a donkey tail. I mean, my mother would kill me. <laughs> I'll see if I can find a way to help you. You will? Oh, what a relief. Thank you. Thank you. I swear I won't ever steal again. Oh. Yeah. What do you think of that, Vilya? He thinks he's... Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> he thinks he has a dragon, or a donkey tail. Yeah. There's the elf. But I wouldn't have any dungeon or any gods. 
Drachna. Nora. Yes. Have you what recently you won a flute gambling? Why are you asking? There ain't no law against playing to the tail of a donkey, as far as I know. Yeah, I did win a flute from a cave bard down in Riften. Funny, isn't it? That someone who is born with a tail can play it correctly on a donkey. Every piece of that bottle is evil. Hmm. So you I'm did get the flute. I'm a doom. Huh. Can I buy the flute? Well, I'm always interested in a good deal. However, in this case, I cannot help you. I have already sold the flute. Mm. There's no point in keeping it. Since I'm not a bard, and I have no idea how to play it. Where is the flute now? Well, I sold it to another bard. Some red god fellow. I believe he was heading for a... Dawn store. If you find him, he might let you buy it. But you better hurry up. Uh, I think he, he was planning to leave Skyrim. He seems like we climbed much. Don't blame him. But look, before you leave, maybe you should have a word with my friend here. Uh, he has, uh, shall we say, a constantly grown problem related to you. Bye. Well, so, he sold the flute to a Redguard bard who was headed for Dawnstar. I don't know, Velia. Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Certainly, tell me your thoughts. What are your thoughts on Skuma? Skuma. It is a dangerous drug. Ask the ask Inigo. Yes, I thought you would say so. And you're probably right. I wouldn't want to become a Skuma addict, would you? Hmm. Well, let's just talk for a little while. Yes? Tell me about yourself. Would you like that? Please. It does make a difference to have a horse, doesn't it? With Bruce, I left solitude and traveled huge areas of Skyrim. As I told you, I was looking for the Elder Gleam Sanctuary, but I didn't know where to look. I had heard, though, that one of the pilgrims were often seen in Markarth. She obviously has a friend there. So that's where I started. Not far from Markov, Bruce stumbled over a stone and injured his leg. Therefore, we had to stay in Markov for a little while. What a strange city it is, don't you think so? So much stones, so many stairs, and then all the beautiful waterfalls. Markov is beautiful in its own way, but... I've always preferred rural roads to city stones. Anyway, I've heard that climbing stairs is good exercise. If that is true, I would think the Markov people is in excellent shape. <laughs> well, I would think so. Anytime. Thank you. We need to head to Dawnstar, and also I need to retrieve the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller for the Greybeards, so I think we will head that direction first. We'll go out north of Whiterun, past that fort there, Fort Dunstad, and up to Dawnstar. Let's be on our way, everyone. Night falls.
We've been traveling through the night, and I decided that we needed to rest, so I asked Vilya to set up a tent right here along the road, not too far from a farmhouse up the road there. Inigo. You have something to say? Any thoughts? I'm thinking I'm a little tired. We all are. Hmm. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. Tell me more about your past. My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. I guess the orphanage did not do a family background check. <laughs> You must have had a very interesting childhood. Mine was perhaps a little more unconventional than most, but I suppose all childhoods are interesting to some degree. My parents provided me with a love and encouragement. Apart from the nightly training sessions, we were a normal family. Hmm. Oh. It's interesting. I want to ask you about something else. Fire away! You want to relax here for a bit? Why not? Let me know when you are ready to move on. Very well. That really is already asleep. Cloudy. Do you think it will rain? Yes. All right. You look quite strong, Inigo. You are very observant. It has been said that I have the strength of a giant. Really? Do you like arm wrestling by any chance? Yes, I love arm wrestling. I have never lost a match. Maybe you like to arm wrestle me? Are you sure? I would not want to embarrass you in front of our friend over there. Actually, I'm quite good at arm wrestling. I used to beat my brothers all the time. So, how about it? Um, actually, my arm is playing up a bit today. An old battle injury, you know. I am not at my best. Uh, maybe later? Well, I'm ready when you are. Alright, you two. Let's be on our way. We've struck the camp. We're headed back down toward the road. And back on the road now, there's something interesting ahead. Let's see what we have. Cart's broken down. Hmm. A jester. Ah! Oh, Father and me fuddle! Stuck here! Stuck! My mother, my poor mother! I'm moving at rest, but too still. Problem? Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But, ah! Wagon wheel! Damnedest wagon wheel! It broke. Don't you see? Yeah, I saw that. Is there some way I can help? Oh! Oh, oh yes! <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. He refuses. Uh, convince Lorius to fix my wheel. Do that. And poor Cicero will reward you with coin! Gleamy, shiny coin! 
Hmm. Corny. I'll take you up on that. All right. Let's help this gentleman. <laughs> Lorius, eh? Lorius Farm. Where would I find him at? You would think that he'd be working the fields. It would appear his wife is out there. Ah. Lorius, I presume. Oh, for the love of I'm God. waiting. What now? The uh, little man really needs your help with his wagon wheel. That Cicero fella? Huh. Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? What's the problem? I'm sure he'll pay you. Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. Hmm. Well, you have a point. What can I do to help? Well, there is something. There's a guard patrols the road that crazy jester is on. He passes by pretty often. You could report the fool. You know, say he's done something against the law. That will at least get rid of him for me. What do you say? I won't condemn an innocent man. Huh. <laughs> Fine. Suit yourself. But you're wrong anyway. Just look at the fool. I don't know what it is, but he's damn well guilty of something. <laughs> look. I thought we talked enough. Unless you've reconsidered my offer. That Cicero needs sorting. You know you should help him. Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away, what kind of a man am I? Nice Look, um... <clears throat> thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Very well. That's good. I would help, but I don't have the tools for this. I suppose I could help lift the wagon and put the wheel on. That would be the extent of it. Cicero! Poor mother! Her home seems so very far! I talked to Lorius. He's agreed to fix your wagon wheel. You... you did? He has? Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny, clicky gold. A few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> Most welcome. Four hundred. Apparently, jesters are well paid. I'll take it. Thank you. I'll be on my way. Let's ride. Fare thee well, Cicero. On to Dawnstar. We've entered into the northernmost reaches of Skyrim, and it is beautiful. Jet blue sky. 
snow in the trees, and a fort just up ahead. And we've been having good luck cleaning out the forts lately. I think that the three of us will go explore. Let's see if these gentlemen are friendly. Fort Dunstad. enough. Yes. You oh, will be huh? so dead. You are Very well. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, bastard. Hmm. So, you bandits. You stupid milk drinker. Excuse me, Vilia. Let's get topside. You are as good as a dead dragon. Yeah. We will clear this place out so it's not so troublesome for us to get through future visits. Let's see. There's a tower. Let's go pay him a visit, guys. Delia? Inigo? What would your mother say? You made a big mistake! Came in the door and there was a guard. Ha ha! Uh oh, uh -uh. look over there. Look at the bandits. You're a dangerous bastard, aren't you? Yeah. I wish you would. Another one. Now I'm gonna get you. This is a star. I hear another. Ah, uh, one pouch out here on the ledge. We can't. Just leave that there. I thought I heard footsteps. Uh, Go get him! I'm gonna uh, 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 see that. I'm not a Oh, I'm sorry. Well done. They're keeping skeevers? Seems unusual. Amethyst, 42 gold, a heroic Imperial helmet. My. That will look good on a mannequin down in my basement. In a porch. Yeah, if we get... Wait. Aha. Uh -huh. I've seen one of these in... The Bleak Fall Barrows. My friends, be very careful. <clears throat> that was a trap. And more than likely, so is this. Oil on the floor. Salt piles, good. I was very low on salt piles. We've been using them to cook. Oil, flame, and all of this straw. This place is a tinderbox. I do wonder if I need a shovel. If I happen to find any treasure maps, if I might have to dig. Back out 
outside. And we'll go over to the main hall. Hello. the skeevers. I wonder what this does. Hmm. Don't you even try that. I don't believe this is the way we came in. But, yes it is. <laughs> ah, they're roasting them! Go. I know I heard something. Ha! Found you! you. you creep. You are good dead. We are good. Don't you huh. think so? Indeed. Job with the bow. What is on your mind? Um, any thoughts? No, my mind is as empty as a beggar's purse. <laughs> well, the skeevers are dealt with. I don't think you need to worry about them. But, some reason Inigo is standing around here watching as if they're going to come out after him. Impressive. Thank you. It's good practice. be on our way and see if there's any more in here and then we will loot the place
this would appear to be the bathroom. Potion of True Shot. And of course, you have to have something to read. <laughs> I don't think we want the buckets. And the best they could do was a children's a nod. Hmm. Well. Yes. Thank you. Excuse me. Skeevers. Oh. Yeah. Look over there. Yeah. You think yeah. you can beat me? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, goat cheese wedges. We will just cut off the part that they may have been snacking on. A dwarven mace! Very nice. All of this cheese. And a chest. We have 50 gold and potion of plentiful magica. So these bandits were fond of skeevers, apparently. So they were the skeever bandits. I'm tempted to take everything, and we can sell it once we reach Dawnstar. I think we will. Every bit helps. Charred skeever hides. Good for potions. Blood. I don't have that one. Song of Plenty of Volume 2. I... Mm, it looks familiar. We'll bring it just in case. Ah, didn't want the bowl. Miner's clothes. We'll be to the other side of the fort. What did he have? He's a plunderer. 83 gold. Very nice. And... <laughs> one moment. We'll take this out to the horses. We've loaded all of the loot so far onto my horse, Wildfire, and I'm looking around and it would appear there's more to this place than meets the eye. But I'm relatively certain that there's more bandits here somewhere. We'll continue to loot and look around. found the bandit chieftain's room. He was the one that came down the stairs and we took care of him. And he has quite a few good potions. Now can we lab? Just a simple knife. Thanks. 
I'm not sure if uh, these bandits were cannibals. Or if they were just working this guy over for information or something. to be two sides to this place. I believe that's the tower we went in to begin with that leads into the prison. Not sure what this small cabin is. The Stumbling Saber Cat. It was an inn. Someone there? What was that? I hear that. Over here! Violent! Lay about! Yeah! 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 Didn't I tell you I was good? Uh oh! Look over there! That's a bandit! Oh, uh, nice shot! Barrel Sindhu. Apparently he was the innkeeper. Hmm. Well, it's a shame. We'll clean the place up for him. Let's have a look around. <laughs> Warming their boots by the fire. <laughs> Saber cat. Head with a oh. bottle of wine. Alto wine to be exact. Hmm. Jazz Bay. Flawless garnet and five gold in a small lockbox. Coins. and more coins and more salt plenty of potatoes I don't see <coughs> anything specific about this Try to sell as much of this as we can. Bar keeps clothes. Hmm. Dark leather backpack with bedroll. Oop, that's valuable. And a chest. left. Forty-two gold. Potion of minor magica and well another done. torch. Thank you, Indigo. Whoever comes here next will take better care of the place. But we've looted the entire fort and all of the bandits. We've come up with a lot of armor and swords and weapons to sell once we arrive at Dawnstar. And if there's no place to sell there, then we can take it back to Whiterun. We slept uh, from about 10 o'clock at night in the fort until 5 o'clock in the morning, so the sun is just starting to come up. And we are going to be on our way. Let's see. that 
far. 